Alright, well if you've just started watching, my name is Leo and I'm an English boat builder and a sailor and I recently bought this boat. Now, she's called Tally Ho. She was built in 1910 in England. She was designed by Albert Strange and she was once a well-known sailing yacht. But, like many boats, she was neglected and left to rot for decades and very nearly destroyed. Now, I got hold of her in a small port in Oregon on the west coast of the States. And since then I've moved her up here to Washington State and I've organised a workshop here and a place to live and I've got to do a full rebuild on this boat from the keel up and then hopefully I'm going to sail her back to the UK. So there's a lot of work to do. And I'm about ready to get started. I've just got to clear out some timber from inside the boat, uh, organise a place to put that and then I should be ready to get stuck in. So this is my newly organised wood stack. Now in clearing out this area, which was a horrendous mess before, I found the air compressor, also uncovered big extractor. I've just wired up some lights this morning, dodgy wiring but it seems to work. Well, I've pretty much cleared her out, so you get a good sense of the space in here. So this is the bow of the boat. And... Coming to a midships. And aft. You've got what would have been a butterfly hatch above me. That would have been the main companionway there. And then the furthest opening aft, that's the cockpit. You can see a nice hook scarf in the stringer. 21 and a half. I think that is original handwriting from 1910. Pencil marking that probably would have been preserved underneath the paint. That's pretty amazing. So at the moment Tally Ho's bilge is full of concrete. And I want to get that out because I want to see the keel timber underneath it. Now, rather than break it up and lift it over the top of the boat, I'm going to take the garbage off, which are the bottommost planks of the boat. Now, they need to come off anyway because they're damaged. And if I take them off, then when I break the concrete up, I can just push it through the holes where the garbage were, rather than carry it all out over the top. So, if you look at this construction drawing, I can show you what I mean. You can see that the lead keel is this bottom part, and then above that, this is the keel timber. Now it's written as L on here, but it is in fact teak, which is much better. This line where it says lower edge of rabbit, that is where the first plank, or the garboard, is notched into the keel timber. So the first plank extends from this line up to just above the keel timber. And that's the plank that I'm going to be taking off. So there we go. It's uh, a dump, which is essentially a, a nail, a blunt nail. It's like a rivet, but with no rivet on the end of it. Most of the planks are riveted with copper rivets through the frames. Now, unfortunately, the garboard can't be fastened with rivets because they're blind fastenings. They just go into the keel and then stop. They don't come out the other side, so you can't rivet it or bolt it. A boat of this age, they use bronze dumps, which are essentially nails. That means it's going to be potentially quite hard to get this timber off because I can't knock the fastenings out. But this is going to be the hardest plank to get off on the whole boat. 
If I can get them all out like this, it would be great. But I suspect they won't all be as loose as this one. We can but try. I guess that one's not coming out so easily. So I got half the first garment off. Well that's it for now, uh, got the garbage off, next thing going to be getting the concrete out of the build, so stay tuned for that and in the meantime if you want to check out my website, I've got heaps of photos and bits of writing from previous adventures, uh, things like crossing the Atlantic on my own in a tiny little wooden boat with no engine or GPS, um, sending an old classic catch up to Greenland for a summer, that sort of thing. So. Uh, check that out and you can donate to the Tally Ho project if you want to on that site as well. And yeah, that's all. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you can and see you next time.